I would invite you to remain after the Mass, if you're able, for the Rosary. And I want to particularly thank uh, the members of the Society of Mary and others who may have joined us because of this special commemoration. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord of all the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, we give thanks for your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for his mother, the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Heaven, by her ever-present aid, and through our faithful devotion, Draw us evermore into the contemplation of your majesty, that we may perceive, persevere in faith, praising and serving you all the days of our lives, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Zephaniah. Sing aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exult over you with loud singing on as a day of festival festival, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 113 is appointed for today, may be found in the order of worship provided or on page 756 of the Book of Common Prayer. I invite you to take part by reading the even, even number verses. Hallelujah. Give praise, ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed. From this time forth, forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, 
who sits enthroned on high, but stops to behold the heaven and the earth. He takes up the weak out of the dust and lifts up the poor from the ashes. He sets them up with the princes, with the princes of his people. He makes the woman of a childless house to be a joyful mother of children. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me. And holy is his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Today's particular Mass commemoration, the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, is one with which I admit I have had little past familiarity. Unsurprisingly, this commemoration is not found in the 1979 Book of Common Prayer calendar, nor in any of the Episcopal Church's several subsequent calendar revisions. Until I did a little digging, I would have guessed that the Feast of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary would have dated from the 1950s, maybe. The papacy of Pius XII, best known in the annals of church history for his promulgation of Marian dogmas, such as the Immaculate Conception, her bodily assumption into heaven, and her heavenly queenship. In fact, however, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary predates Pius XII and originates 400 years earlier in the papacy of Pius V. He had instructed Catholics everywhere to pray the rosary for the victory of Catholic troops at war with Ottoman Empire forces. Today's commemoration arose from a decisive 1571 military victory, a naval victory in the Ionian Sea. Who knew? Leaving aside for the moment theological questions about prayers for military victories that inevitably include tragic bloodshed and death, 
1571 date of the Battle of Lepanto reminds us today that the rosary has been prayed for centuries. In fact, according to religious legend, a vision of the rosary was given 400 years before the Battle of Lepanto, 300 years at least, to St. Dominic in 1214. Not surprisingly, the vision came by way of an apparition of the Blessed Mother. Historians now believe that forms of the rosary were actually being prayed in the ninth century, 1100 years before our own time. We Anglicans are not nearly as consistent as our Roman Catholic brothers and sisters in terms of the place of the rosary in our early faith formation or our experiences of it if we came to the Episcopal Church as adults. Some of us, I notice, are native to it, either because we were raised Roman Catholic or because praying the rosary, even the very first time as adults, felt like coming home. Some of us discover or have long known that praying the rosary can put us in what I might informally describe as a blessed zone of contemplation. Others look on dumbstruck, wondering what's all the fuss about? Some of us approach the rosary as a theological problem to be answered or solved. Others of us wonder, why question? Or maybe the questions recede as we pray the rosary and experience that distinctive and blessed sense that Our Lady is with us and alongside of us. Whatever role or roles we attribute to her, whatever theology or, or category or rationale, whatever words we do or do not use to describe the rosary, we often know, we know that when we pray it or because we have prayed it, Mary is with us and alongside of us for our blessed good. If I may go out on a limb, I wonder if I may say of the rosary what we Episcopalians often say of sacramental confession, that is, none must, all may, some should. Only based on my experience and observations, I might mix it up a bit and say that all of us are welcome to take part, maybe even by Mary herself. All are welcome. None should feel ashamed if they are not drawn to or edified by it. We're blessed in our tradition with so many blessings and forms of prayer. None should feel shamed if they're not drawn to or edified by it. And then there are the some. Some of us who do feel we must. Today's commemoration, I suppose, is mainly for those of us who feel we must. Hail Mary. Amen.
Join me now, I pray, in confessing our faiths, two things, using the words of the Nicene Creed and say, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Hold in our hearts and lift up before God the needs of our world, our nation, state, our city, communities, and neighborhoods, and our own households. Remembering all who are beset by natural disasters, including fires in our westernmost states, a hurricane. Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico and the, into our own Gulf of Mexico shores. For a time of great anxiety for our nation, for those who have made themselves available for public office, just pray for true words to be spoken presidential and vice-presidential debates. We've been asked to pray for Charlie Taylor, Jim Berger, Dean Panetta, Charlie McDougall, Bonnie Joseph, Ted Long, Katriana Patriarca, Richard Lately, Sarah, the Howard family, Owen Raymond, Diane Burnett, Sandra, Rhea, the Friedman family, Give thanks and pray for Ellie Roberts and Judy Mintel, who anticipate birthdays in the coming days. The prayers of the people are form three. They may be found in the order of worship or on page 387 of the Book of Common Prayer. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. 
We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Heaven, intercede with us and for us for the conversion of souls, the restoration of the sick, the consolation of the afflicted, the repentance of sinners, and the eternal peace of the departed. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Heaven, intercede with us and for us. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Give thanks for all who are sharing in this Mass, mostly remotely. I ask you to open your hearts and goodwill to others who have joined us and to God's people known to us throughout the world and others. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. By your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, by your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit to the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Come, O Sanctifier, Almighty and Eternal God, and bless this sacrifice prepared for the glory of your holy name. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice into your hands to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all the Holy Church. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ, your only Son, to be born for us who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering, death our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
Alleluia, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are they who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son. 
Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be within you, be amongst you, and remain with you forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll begin the rosary shortly, okay? 